Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1067. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 1067 to 1068, click on the link below the video. Hey, we got to talk about fractional percentage number formatting, like 33 and a third percent or two tenths of a percent. How in the world do we get that? to show up in Excel. Well, for 33 and a third, I'm going to cheat and say equals 1 divided by 3, because I don't want to type in 0.33333. And in this cell right here, Control-1 to open up the format cells. Now, we could hunt around, but I've never found a built-in one. You know, we could do percentage here, or even fractional, right? But I haven't found one that does both. That's not going to cut it. So instead, we're using custom number formatting, Control-1 to open up format cells, custom, and we come over here to the type box. Pound will show the 3, 3 for the tenths and hundredth position. Space, you got to put a space, and then question mark, slash, question mark. The question marks and the slash are fractional number formatting. And now the trick is, and we can see our sample up here, it's not quite what we want. When we put a percentage symbol, well, of course, it slides a decimal two to the right and adds that symbol. That's the custom number formatting. We click OK, 33 and a third percent. If I typed equals two divided by three over here, then it's 66 and two thirds percent. Now, over here for fractional percentage where we don't have any tenths or hundredths position, let's do uh, 3 tenths of a percent. And you know, I don't remember sometimes, I haven't done fractional percents in a long time, and I'm like, I don't know what number I should put in the cell. So watch this, I'm going to cheat. I'm going to go 3 divided by 10. I know it was 3 tenths. Oh yeah, and then I need to slide the decimal twice, so I divide by 100. Obviously, if you're doing fractional percents all the time, you just type that in. Equals this, and so for 0 .003, Control-1. We simply come down to custom, and now we can do question mark slash question mark. Now look at that. That's fractional uh, number formatting. But notice that question mark is not enough because we have two digits in the denominator. So just to display more digits, you type more question marks. That's still not it, but a percentage symbol will do it. I love it. Click OK. Now if we had two tenths. You go equals 2 divided by 1,000, of course. And then we would Control-1. Let's try that same number formatting. So I'm going to go question mark, slash, question mark, question mark, percentage. But check that out. It will reduce for you. It knows that 2 tenths reduces to 1 fifth. Here's another thing about the question mark and custom number format. When I click OK, if we have two question marks, yes, it allows two digits to be displayed. But it will show a space if there's no digit there. So we need to do something different, 0 0.002. Control-1, come down here. If you're sure it's tenths, then we do question mark slash 10. Now, that's hard coding the number in. So if we were to put any other numbers that didn't exactly reduce to a tenth, then the, it would be a displayed number that's different than what's in the cell. But if you know it's going to be intense, that's how you can do it. You could force the issue. I didn't want one fifth of a percent. I wanted two tenths of a percent. All right, now if you download this, there's a couple notes here, some straight from help. All right, we'll see you next trick.